Hi, and thanks for watching the Moose Scrapper channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to be scrapping a projector. This was uh, part of the uh, December poll for January. So, um, this is something that I picked up from my neighbor. Uh, he had, uh, thought it was just a bulb or something that needed uh, to be replaced. Turns out, <laughs> problems are a little bit more intense than that. So, it doesn't work. Um, it's older, so I'm not really going to bother trying to sell it on eBay. But, I am going to sell the remote, because this still works. So, it's a good thing to remember that, you know, things like this, you're going to get, I'll get more money for this on eBay than I'll make scrap in this projector, easily. I mean, I'll get at least 10 bucks for this. Alright. So, let's take a look what's inside. Alright, so, we've got a little plastic. Okay, so looks like we've got. I've already taken some screws out, by the way, just in case uh, you're wondering why this is coming apart so easily. Um, so, this thing. That was a little sticky. Alright, so the first thing we have is, is this board, which I would consider a mid grade board. Uh, it has some ICs on it, has BGA chip, uh, some flat packs, uh, there's gold plating and all the connector ends here, uh, gold flashing all over the board, and all the corners, which I'm still not quite sure why they do that, but anywho. Uh, there's some monolithic ceramic capacitors in here, a couple of little ones there, a bunch of tinier ones elsewhere. So for me, what I'm going to do with this is... Uh, I'm going to cherry pick off the stuff that I want, like the IC chips, uh, the MLCCs, and I might use a pair of pliers and pull off the uh, gold plated corners, um, but that's it. And then I'm going to throw it in with my mid and low grade boards, because my scrap yard doesn't really pay very much. Uh, they don't really actually have a mid grade board category. It's uh, circuit boards, which is pretty much the same price as light iron, and then they have motherboards, which uh, I guess is like high grade boards, um, and it's the price for that is not that great either. So make sure you check with your scrapyard to see what they pay, uh, and help to help you you know kind of figure out how you should sort things. So let's keep on going. So we've got a chunk of aluminum, and I am saving up all my aluminum and copper. I'm hoping to eventually get a propane forge so I can start doing like e-waste bed and making ingots. That, that looks like fun. Um, do, 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 do. Lots of tiny screw. That's a big old magnet. Oh no, it's not just stuck. speaker, a little bit of wire, oh and let's not forget the power cable that came with it. Now the rest of this doesn't look like it's aluminum, um, that sticks so that's, that's steel. We're doing exploratory surgery on this. Although it might. Always one screw somewhere. I cannot reach that. I cannot reach that. Oh, look at that. We're getting there. We're getting there. A lot of these little wires, these are all going to be like little low grade wires. 
Uh, these are ones that are definitely not worth bothering to strip. Um, the amount of copper in there is going to be minuscule. There it is. Always one hiding. Alright. All that for plastic housing. Alright. That still is not cooperating. Look, you're gonna get scratched. I'll accept it. Move on. Alright, so this has got a uh, piece of plastic we can recycle and this piece of steel really thin pop off so. alrighty so we've got a power board which I do not have a whole heck of a lot on it uh, there is some copper bearing stuff, some copper, 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 copper. Um, this is going to put a little switch in it, so there might be a tiny, two tiny pieces of silver. We've got an aluminum heat sink. So, let's take this off. And again, you know, it's really important to check with your scrapyard to uh, see what they buy and how they buy it, because they might have a category for power boards, you know, like you know, some other places do. That I've heard of. Um, so it'll be worth it for you to separate them out from the low grade boards, which is you know, typically what my scrapyard would pay for this, which is essentially the same as uh, light iron. Um, and if that's the case, then if the price they're paying for low grade board is less than the price that they're paying for aluminum, or like transformers, copper bearing motors, that kind of stuff. Um, then definitely, you know, take the stuff off. That'll get you more money. But otherwise, leave it on. Okay, we've got. Where did I put my screw? There it is. I'm hoping that there'd be a nice little DLP chip in here, but there may not be. thing is really in there well. Alright, well it looks like I'm just going to have to start just removing all the random screws that I see and hopefully they'll all come off in the end, right? Is screwed up. All right, so this is the bulb assembly. Um, not much really worth messing over in there. This is metal. I'm not quite sure. It looks like it's. I don't think that's aluminum. I think that's going to be like zinc or something, or some kind of other alloy. Um, but if the bulb is not burnt, then this is something that you can try and resell on eBay. Um, they usually have like a model number on them or something. You know, like right over here, they've got all the information on the top. But this one I believe is burnt, so I'm not selling it. So many screws, so little time. Oh, hey, that was sweet. Alright, so this part 
I'm going to come back to at the end because I think I just saw something in there pretty nice. But of course, you know me, I like to look for things that have like gold on it because it's like a hobby of mine. It's not. And please, I, I hope that no one ever thinks that I'm trying to tell people that, you know, the stuff that has gold on it will make you get rich or anything because it really won't. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are some people who make, you know, a living doing it in, in really large quantities. There's actually quite a few people that do that. Um, but key thing there is the large quantities. It's got to be a lot of stuff. Holding you back. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. side. Sneaky buggers. They put it on the side. All right. Another one they put on the side. All right. So a little cooling fan. Some places will take it just like that as a copper bearing motor. A wire. More plastic. And what is this? Oh, I see another board in there. That just looks like another power type board, which I would imagine a bulb that bright might need. So in here, it looks like we've got some copper, some copper. These little things have copper on them, and these Things. I'm not quite sure what they're called, uh, but they do this back part is like a tin plated copper. If you can see those, yeah. these little guys right here. Uh, I've got a little bit of wire, and that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a, there's a board here on the side has a few small IC chips on it. But nothing major. And it's definitely a you know, low-grade board. A lot of plastic in there. All right, so yeah, so we've got uh, oh, there's a little bit of gold plating. No, not much, but so we've got some gold plating. All these little dots here and there. Oh, there the letters seem to be gold plated. Um, we've got IC chips, some tiny little monolithic ceramic capacitors. Nothing, nothing major. Um, piece of aluminum. Some more IC chips on the bottom, some more little MLCCs here and there, and that's that. So, let's go back to this thing. Alright, so right away, first off, nice little chunk of aluminum there. And there's also a board there with some gold fingers on it, which I always like because that's one of the things that I recover gold from as a hobby Oops. a 
Oh, sweet. And there she be. All right, so big chunk of aluminum. And there is my DLP chip. You can see the back of it. It's all gold plated in there. That is a thing of beauty. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It popped right out. It's like a little ceramic CPU. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. You can see the gold bouncing off that. Again, I mean, this, this is not going to be horribly valuable. Um, but it is. It is what it is. It's, it's, it's a gold ceramic chip. So, uh, you would process it the same way you would other ceramic chips. Um, and then this, you know, I mean, these little holes in there have some gold plating, but nothing nothing worth writing to mama about. And uh, the gold fingers. So, yeah, there's that. That kind of makes up for the uh, projection screen incident that I had this week. Alright, so tiny board here. This is metal. I'm not quite sure what it is though. I don't think it's aluminum. It's kind of gray to be aluminum. Um, so there's magnesium, zinc. There's <clears throat> other options. Um, so, I would say, and I mean, that's it. I mean, there's a, there's a few little lenses in there that, you, you know, if you want to play with, you can take those out. Um, but that's it. So this, you might want to, if you want to bring this to your scrapyard, go right ahead. They'll have to uh, hit it with an XRF gun to um, kind of tell you what it is. And, you know, at best, you'll probably get, you know, aluminum price or, or under. And there are a ton of screws and little plastic things to pull out on that. So... You know, if you want to spend the time to do that, great. If not, that's perfectly fine too. Alright, so that's it for the uh, projector. Um, so if I ever see another projector that someone's throwing out, I will grab it. Just because of this little guy. Oh, I love these. Yeah, I don't get ceramics very often, but when I do, I keep them. Because they're, they're really cool. Yep. So... That's that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, comment, like, subscribe, share, hit that bell so you can get notifications whenever I have new videos coming out. Um, you know, I've been sticking to my, my goal of having at least one new video every week, um, one live stream a month, and at least three or four little short videos here and there in the, in the interim, you know, to you know, kind of you know, touch base on, on little things. So again, thanks for watching. Have a good one.